Magic the Gathering is very much like an addictive drug. Let's discuss. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Magic the Gathering and drugs, I mean, it's not that far off. People who sell this stuff are unscrupulous. They don't care about you. They care about your money. They will sell you stuff when it is uh, not healthy for you to buy it. They will uh, push product on you even though they pushed a recent product on you and you bought it up and you spent everything you could and maybe you caused problems with your family. They will still push, pro they will still push product on you. It's one of the few uh, industries like gambling, like tobacco, that will continually not care about the health and welfare of its customers. So magic opening of packs is like uh, opening magic packs is like uh, gambling. You know, I've known this. Everybody's known this since they're little. You can't make it uh, can't make it too obvious, but it's been there. I, you know, you could spend three bucks and open up a dual land back in the day. That was pretty crazy. You know, now you can spend 20 bucks and open up a one of one ring. Uh, yeah. Talk about lottery odds. So they get you in and you start opening and you get that rush, that feel, especially when you pull something good, you get a crazy, you know, it's a pretty intense feeling and it is pretty awesome. So people chase that. They open more and more packs. They buy magic cards all the time. Okay. I mean, I, I want to say I was a victim so much of this in the past as, you know, people close to me were. And, you know, the more addictive a personality you have, the more crazed you're going to be about buying stuff to open and you're going to use less logic behind it. It's just like, I want to rip this stuff and pull the new stuff, the, the new stuff that comes out. You're not like, okay. How can I position what I've already opened and get older stuff and trade and this and that? You're not thinking about that. You're just like rip, 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 rip. I knew somebody like this. Anyway, that's the prefacing this whole idea here, right? Now, that being said, what Chris Cox and Cynthia Williams are doing is very not smart. What Blake Rasmussen Rasputin said because of them, in that only choose the products that uh, you know uh, speak to you. Not all products are for you. That's interesting, okay? Because what it does is some people now will say, "Hey, I think I'm gonna skip this set." You know how quickly. And how easily skipping this set turns into skipping the next 10 sets turns into taking a break from Magic the Gathering. You know how easily that happens? Because you've now separated the individual from their addiction, okay? This is why people go to rehab. You have a short period where the people aren't and don't have access to their drug of choice they get over it. This is happening right now with Magic the Gathering. People are getting over it. And I get that. I guess it's kind of a good thing. People are coming off their addictions. Maybe we should all get over it. But, you know, if you're thinking about the game, the health of the game and company as a whole, well, I don't think that this is smart at all. This type of break that you're forcing on people can oh so easily turn into a permanent break. Look, we know that magic and opening packs is addictive, and it, it, it I know it's not a drug, okay? But for me, it, colloquial, colloquial, it, oh my God, I can't speak today. For me, as a comparison, it works, okay? It's something that people open up despite the fact that it's not good for them. They, they don't have the money and or relationships have issues because of it, so on and so forth. You know, it sounds very similar to most drugs. Anyway, uh, remember to like and subscribe. Check out my Patreon. 
Got a lot of cool things. We got the Prophecy break coming up soon. And after that, we have my Oddball box, which contains promotional items that are kind of difficult and hard to find. I got the two Eds or Better Than One game coming up. I have Alliances and Mercadian Masks tournament packs here, uh, tournament pack boxes to open with the channel for patrons. So check out my Patreon. Otherwise, take care. Have a lovely day, guys. I'll see you soon. That's it, Peace. Man. Game over, man. Game over. What the fuck are we going to do now? What are we going to do? Maybe we can build a fire, sing a couple of songs, huh? Why don't we try that?